Hey, Dominic Steele, Daily Bible Time. Good morning. It's good to have you with us. Great night at Village Church last night. I might be wrong, but I think it was one of our biggest nights at Village Evenings in several years. Um, back to regular things at the desk today after our Cultivate Conference last week. Uh, the pastor's heart today, talking to the Bishop of Tasmania, uh, Richard Condy, the Dean of Sydney, Kanishka Raphael, and Reverend Jennifer Hercott, speaking about the, uh, oh, I suppose you'd say fragile future of the Anglican Church of Australia. We're in Mark 12:35. And uh, actually, just before you get to the passage we're looking at today, the last section of the passage we looked at last week was, from then on, no one dared ask him any more questions. And uh, that language, it's strong and unequivocal. They did not dare. Jesus has answered the challenges from the three factions of Judaism, the Pharisees, the Sadducees, the scribes, who've been coming, throwing different points at him. Uh, but now... They're done. They got no more questions, but he has a series of challenges for them, and we're dealing with the first one today. And uh, it is Mark twelve thirty five. Here's here it is. Jesus setting the agenda. While Jesus was teaching in the temple, he asked, "Why do the teachers of the law say that the Messiah is the son of David?" So this conversation takes place in the temple, in the religious center of Israel, in the seat of the Sanhedrin's authority. I mean, this is where policy is determined and executed. And uh, the question from Jesus is to the intellectual and religious elite of Judaism. Now, Psalm 110 is the, if you like, the battleground of the discussion. And Jesus is saying here, David himself, speaking by the Holy Spirit, declares, quoting Psalm 110, the Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. Now, Jesus is saying, David himself calls him Lord. How then can he be his son? Now, that quotation from Psalm 110, that is, Edwards points out, the most frequently quoted Old Testament text in the New Testament. Psalm 110, it was originally a coronation hymn that would have been sung, chanted, recited at the inauguration of the kings of Judah, the kings of Israel. And the opening line in Hebrew reads, The Lord, Yahweh, said to my Lord, Adonai. Now, the first Lord is referring to God. The second is to the new king of Israel, the Messiah. That is, at his coronation, the king of Israel is inducted as God's deputy, and the king of Israel is seated symbolically at the right hand of Yahweh, the right hand signifying honor and closeness to God. Now, the tension is a son is less than a father, whereas the Messiah is spoken of by King David as if he is greater than he and only less than Yahweh himself. So the Messiah is therefore greater than David and not merely a descendant of David as Judaism had popularly held. So here Jesus is arguing that Messiah is not simply an extension of his Davidic precursor. The Messiah will indeed, he'll be a recognized descendant of David, but he will surpass David's lineage. So the term son of David may express certain truths about the Messiah, but it falls short in essential ways in capturing his identity. The Messiah will be great David's greater son or the messiah will not simply be david's son he will be god's son thanks for joining us on daily bible time today let me pray father we just thank you for this pointer to the identity of the messiah to the identity of jesus help us to worship jesus as who he is greater than everyone else and seated at your right hand thank you lord for this insight this morning and we thank you for that in the powerful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining us on Daily Bible Time today. We'll look forward to your company tomorrow when uh, really Jesus is going to be warning against the teachers of the law who like to walk around in flowing robes and be greeted with respect in the marketplace. That's tomorrow on Daily Bible Time.